So one of the biggest challenges in building raised beds is is figuring out how to fill all that empty space. If you uh, have any kind of depth to your boxes, uh, you're going to require a lot of soil, a lot of good soil, and soil is expensive. So uh, one widely used uh, gardening technique that a lot of people uh, employ on their raised beds is uh, it's called culture and it's utilizing decaying uh, plant matter, uh, decaying trees, decaying logs, uh, old leaves, grass clippings. People basically uh, form a good base, a good solid uh, layer at the bottom of the raised bed. Uh, in some cases they actually utilize three quarters of the space of the box with this uh, material and then they put their layer of topsoil over so it saves people a lot of money in uh, topsoil costs and uh, in theory what's uh, supposed to happen is uh, all that decaying plant matter over time it uh, uh, supplies uh, nutrients and nitrogen to the soil and uh, replenishes it as it breaks down so that's uh, what I've been doing in my raised beds uh, this year and uh, I've been very fortunate enough to uh, live in a live in an area on an acreage where there's a lot of old growth forest, and uh, on my land in particular, there is a substantial amount of uh, trees and dead trees. And uh, the previous uh, owners of this property uh, it looked like they bucked up some uh, some poplar trees and put them underneath a tree and over time um, squirrels made it their home and anthills and ants appeared and popped up over and popped up everywhere and um, about under two feet of uh, material I've discovered these rotting logs so I'm going to utilize them for the base layer of my Hugo culture uh, raised garden bed and uh, that'll save me uh, a lot of money in, in trucking in good topsoil and uh, Hopefully it'll uh, make my raised garden bed thrive, whatever I plant in it, that is. So let's get to work here and start loading up some of this uh, decaying uh, wood and uh, get her uh, placed in my raised bed. I'll still utilize this. Looks like this is uh, some bark that's fallen off a log. Still pretty good material. This is another good one. This one's halfway there. This is all black. Then you can see this is a little more dry, but this is already kind of turning into soil. So this is another good one. You have to watch out for these ones. There's an ant colony living in this one. And they got a lot of, uh, their babies, uh, cocoons or uh, whatever they, they're called. Anyways, I'm gonna put this one aside. I really don't want an ant colony living in my raised bed.
This is uh, really interesting. This is uh, falling apart. It was buried deep. And uh, this is exactly what's supposed to happen in your raised garden bed when it's covered in soil. It's supposed to, over time, just break down and turn into soil. This one's uh, farther along in the process, so I gotta be very careful in how I load it into my trailer, but this is a good one. So yeah, this will be good for my raised garden bed. Another good one. This will be another good one. I'm just gonna scrape away some of the pine cones. I've already lost a bit of material, but this is just breaking apart in my hands. This is beautiful. This is gonna provide a lot of uh, good soil for my raised bed. Awesome. Well, I've taken uh, quite a few uh, buried logs out of this pile here. So I'm gonna head back with my uh, quad and trailer and uh, start uh, putting this into my raised bed. We'll uh, see how it turns out. Uh, I'm really hoping I could fill uh, this raised bed three quarters full of this uh, rotting log material. Um, I don't have a lot of soil left, so uh, yeah. Uh, I'll have to make do with what I've got and uh, the good thing is that I know this is really good material for my Hugel culture raised beds so uh, not too worried about uh, putting a thin layer of soil on top hopefully I should have at least uh, six to nine inches that should be good for uh, carrots or lettuce uh, I think that's what I'm planning on planting but yeah let's uh, get to it Alright, so I'm back in my garden enclosure and it's time to unload all that uh, Hugel culture material and uh, hopefully I don't have to make any more trips back into the woods. I think I might have enough wood now, but uh, let's go and uh, check it out. This is pretty far along the decomposition process. This will be really good for the uh, Hugel culture raised bed. So I'm, uh, so I'm back in the woods today. I need to find some more uh, film material for my uh, Hugo culture raised beds. So uh, there happens to be a drainage ditch on my property where uh, water from my culvert drains and uh, goes off site. In that ditch, there's a 
quite a substantial buildup of dead leaves. Um, when I uh, dig down deep with my shovel, there's a lot of broken down composted leaves down there as well. So I'm going to scoop some of that into a wheelbarrow, throw it into my uh, ATV trailer, and uh, start uh, filling my uh, raised bed with that to a point where I'm uh, satisfied that uh, I could uh, start dumping topsoil into it. Uh, I want to fill it as much as possible with uh, decaying uh, leaves and decaying leaves and dead logs and rotting logs so uh, I won't have to use as much soil so hopefully I uh, get as much uh, dead leaf material as I can here and that'll uh, hopefully uh, complete this raised bed. So I just want to show you what uh, a two inch layer of composted leaves looks like. Pretty rich in uh, plant material. So I'm going to continue to load this up into my wheelbarrow and uh, get this in my uh, Hugo culture raised bed.
Well, there you have it. My three uh, Hugo Culture raised beds. Here I have uh, spinach planted, as well as Swiss char. These two planting beds are currently empty, but uh, hope to get some seeds in the ground here in the next few days. Here are my three other Hugel culture raised beds. Got some strawberries planted in this one. Hopefully they overwinter well. I'd like these to be uh, permanent strawberry beds. This is uh, currently sitting empty. I want to transplant a lot of the uh, strawberries that produce runners into here. There's another uh, empty space here for me to build another raised bed and do strawberries here as well. And then maybe add a few other uh, raised beds beyond this last one here. I could probably fit in another two. And have this whole area devoted to strawberries. Have a good uh, perennial fruit area. Really amazed the amount of uh, time and effort that went into building these. Far more than what I could have imagined, but uh, hopefully these will be permanent fixtures in my garden with the uh, burning treatment to the wood. I hope that they last uh, a very long time. Well, it's almost been two months since I built my Hugel Culture raised beds and uh, they're doing pretty phenomenal. I've got sugar snap peas planted in them, strawberries, carrots, um, Swiss char, spinach, and uh, yeah, they're looking pretty good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how they all turned out. Uh, when I build more raised beds, I will definitely be using uh, rotting logs and uh, composted leaves and uh, yeah things are looking pretty good and I'm uh, overall very happy with how things turned out. Thanks a lot for uh, watching and I uh, look forward to making more videos. Mm -hmm.